Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. This is Papa Meerkat, and we are back into card life. And I was right. After uh, a week, I've cut down a, a pretty good amount of trees to build stuff and uh, my buildings and whatnot. And after seven days, well, let's say on the seventh day, the all the trees regrow. So you never have to worry about wood. And they don't regrow where you, if, they, if I cut down a tree right here and I built over it, your building stays, the tree doesn't come back, so, which would look really weird, right? Alright, and I did build a building off camera. Like I said, I would every episode, I try to build buildings or rooms. And in this episode, what I want to do is I want to try uh, enchanting, if I can. It's kind of expensive, cost gems, which you have to go look for. And I'm going to try to build uh, the runes. Let's see, these, like, these runes. I'm wondering if there's any difference to, yeah, I guess there is. Enchant material bonus, one, or point one. Stone, enchanting material bonus, point fifteen. So, anything you throw, like gems or whatever you use to enchant this, it's uh, point five or point oh five percent more boost this is only one so i might build the stones they don't have any metal ones i don't think actually they might let's check over here for the forge do they have metal ones yes they got cobalt tungsten gold iron and copper for as point two point twenty five point four point three five and the highest is point four five okay what is it studs for iron studs used in the creation of scout armor three produced per ingot okay neat but I want to show you guys my room I built it was it's not technically a room like like this where it's enclosed but as long as I build it it still counts and uh, I bought this game. I spent a whopping six dollars for it, American. Don't know the equivalent in other countries, but um, as you know, my last building was this outhouse, which I thought was funny. It's just aesthetic. But uh, in this one, I built something else. I uh, like I said, I spent six dollars for this game because I was a founder, as you call it. Sorry if I sound really nasally today, a lot more than usual. My nose as my sinuses are gone to wacky town. Even worse than the last couple of days. But, I'll show you my room. Here's my buildings, of course. Got my house. Uh, my wife came up with a good idea. Next room I'm going to build on here, you'll see it tomorrow. Might build it on this side. Means I have to get rid of this awesome looking torch. <laughs> Alright. But here's the room. I know I keep on dilly daddling, daddling, daddling. I don't even know the word. But bam, here it is. This is my foundry room. It's fenced in. I need to put some posts down here because it looks weird that's floating. But I'm not. I wasn't too pleased with these. You know what these are right here? These are uh, fence foundations. Okay, so you're like fence foundations. All right, that sounds good. But the situation with fence foundation, I keep using the scroll wheel and it doesn't work. But here it is, a wooden plank. A plank that also supports fences. You see how it looks like it's on the on the ground? Well, it doesn't stick to the ground. I don't know if I still have one on me. No, I put it away or didn't have it. Let's see real quick. Yeah. I didn't have an extra fence, but... These fence, or these uh, planks, they're supposed to support fences. They do. I'd rather have these, if the developers are watching this, and I hope they are, please allow this to be built on the ground. Because I couldn't build it on the ground. It had to be stuck to, like, a foundation of another building or something. I would love to be able to just lay this flat on the ground or in the ground and then put the fence above. Because what I was going to do, you can't build a fence without having a foundation. What I wanted to do is build this under the ground or just under the surface and then put the fence up top and have it fenced in. I stuck with this design because this is what you're 
these planks allow you to do. You don't get to actually put them under the ground or level with the ground. And I'm not a big fan of that. So that's why it looks the way it does. Because I was going to build some awesome fences. Because there is fences in this game. Which you have to have a foundation for. Let's see. You got the uh, wooden fence foundation. But look at his post. Means it's going to be even higher off the ground. And this one looks like it's laying straight on the ground. But you don't get to use this on the ground. You have to connect it to a existing structure. So I was going to see if I can build... um. Maybe some of these and put it underneath the, the corners to make it look a little bit more better. But if the developers are watching this, please allow us to put these planks on the ground or in the ground. Instead of have you know forcing it to be connected to a foundation already. Alright, enough of that. But yeah, but because I bought this game a long time ago, months ago. I spent $6 for it and I became a founder. I don't know if you still can. You might be able to since it's still in beta. But I get you get these uh, founder trophies. I got this banner. Of course, the uh, card life statue holding a saw, which you can't make in the game, and a spaceship. I made this one out of stone. I'm not too keen on the look of this, to be honest with you. I I, I kind of want to build the the wooden one to see how it looks. But yeah, this to me, the texture is kind of weird. But I thought, I was like, I'll build one out of stone to make it hopefully look cool. What it, what they should have done is instead of having it textured like stone, take away all these dark spots and make it smooth or something. Alright. Now, this is what I want to do. I like to build uh, metal armor, but I'm going to take all these crystals, which you need for enchanting, I do believe. I think you need monster parts too. But we'll find that out in a minute. And we'll take this copper. No, I didn't have time to uh, mine off camera like I promised. I am a father and husband and all that stuff. I got my responsibilities to do to my family. So, yeah, that's what took up my time. Plus making other videos for Borderlands and blah, blah, you know. Excuses, right? <laughs> Alright, let's go ahead and make some of these bars. Do I got any wood? Yeah, that's all the wood I got. Well, looks like I'll be making myself an axe. Well, let's say I make another axe then. It cost all this. Ten, six, and ten. But you always carry stone, uh, compact stone on you. Carry plant matter, resin, fiber, wood. All this stuff right here is like an essentials. So, always make sure to carry that stuff around. Alright, what kind of axe do I want to build today? Hmm. So that goes out there. Let's go across like this. I think you only hold it with one hand, right? Let's just build weird. But everything I build is weird. Makes it look like a paddle for uh, boats. <laughs> How does this work? It looks broken. <laughs> ah, yes. Masterpiece. Let's make it even more weak. Let's make it look like it, it would never function like it's supposed to. That as soon as you hit anything with it, it would break. <laughs> Alright, next. Hmm. Let's see. So the wooden part comes through here, right? Yeah. Let's build wide axe. Wide axe. There we go. And then build this. Goes up. And have a small pick. There we go. <laughs> so pretty. Alright, let's see here. Let's make it angry. Come on. Circle. Hey, it's connected, man. Is it too small? 
I guess so. They called us the Angry Axe. Beautiful. All right, there we go. New axe to use. All right, we got to go collect us some wood. And I'm okay with taking these wood trees down because they do regrow within a week or about a week. So next Wednesday, they should be uh, all back again. Because I played it yesterday, that's why. So I can build the foundry room. And I don't know if there's any uh, metal versions of the foundry trophies. I'm okay with the wood and stone ones. I kind of wanted them to change the texture of the stone one. Especially the ship looking one. And I'm wondering. If you see that that's that, founder stud, that founder trophy. That founder trophy. It's. It shows, a, it shows a spaceship plus a planet, maybe a star or a sun. It makes me wonder, is there going to be space-related stuff later on in this game? That you start out on one world like this and you can, you build up until you make technology, build a ship and then fly out into space and go to other worlds? Now I'm curious. I know they were talking about adding mechs or robots. So, that's technology, so, maybe. And I'm about to starve. Look at my health, my food bar there. I want to go mining in this episode. I know last episode, episode 6, I said I was going to adventure in a long distance, but I don't think I have the time for that in this episode, because I, st I need to build armor. As you see, my stone armor is getting pretty beat up. So I need a... Uh, better armor which I'd like to build the copper stuff which I think it costs about 50 bars or right on 50 bars which is a lot the material demands for most of these items are pretty expensive in this game and like I don't know how if I have to go deeper or something but I'm not finding that much iron that not alone you know I haven't found, I found barely any iron, and I barely found, actually I've never found any of the other ores yet, like the uh, cobalt, whatnot. Alright, now I got some wood, let's go cook up some bars. Alright, so let's go ahead and cook all this copper, just because, actually let's go down, oh, we can't. Wow, that's all I can make of that. The requirements of your ingredients is kind of expensive. Yeah, I got one bar off of a set of armor. Okay, put you back in there. There you go. I don't know why that when it hits this ore state, it has a white bar above it. I find it weird. Only two bars. Wow, game. Game's like, no, you don't get nothing. There we go. Alright. And I guess these are where you put your uh, charms. Let's see. Let's go to if there's structures. Oh, there is structures. Okay. Is there a, a metal version of the founder stuff? Whoa, there's a lot of stuff in here. No, no metal versions of the founder stuff. I'm okay with that because it's expensive to build the tools alone. For this metal and whatnot. Actually, let's go look up. What do I want? Do I want... I might stick with stone, stone uh, relics because it's uh, too expensive for the metal stuff. But having tools though. What does it cost for an iron? I got enough bars, I just need leather strips. Okay. But is it worth getting that right now? Canopical shears. What is shears for? Bushes. Okay. Chain. Oh, there. There's no actual hand saw, but there's chainsaws. That's something. Let's look here. It's very expensive for this stuff. I like to build this. 
because this allows me to build, uh, I think it's gold. As you see right here, it says gold. I think that's my next step, which I have not found any yet. I got my copper pickaxe. Do I want an iron sword, though? How do I keep exiting out? All of these just go in here. Weapon. Why does it do that? It goes, buzzes at me. Alright, so an iron is 120, uh, 95 to 128, tech speed 1, tech range, enchant material bonus, enchanting slots, I just need course loaded strips. But do I want to make the pickaxe instead because I can mine gold? Decisions, right? Alright, let's go get ourselves some, some leather strips. Man, it feels like I'm about to hiccup every two seconds. It's pretty awful. Alright. Put mob stuff. I'd like to get some enchantment stuff, for sure. I think I'm going to go ahead and build the pickaxe because that's going to give me my next tier of material, which is gold. Yeah. But I only use it for getting gold, though. Because I can use stone and... Yeah, stone to get through dirt and stuff, or mainly stone. Stone to use stone. If that makes any sense. Alright. Now. Try and make this thing into something cool. Let's do like a normal stick. Looks crude. There we go. And go to the head here. Let's go ahead and build... I think it's going to always swing this way. How you hold it in your hand is always to the left. So the pick in will be to the left. And I might put a hammer back here. So let's do a pick. With a rounded edge. Make this a little boxier. With a slight rounding. And I want to build a hammer on the end of it. Because it looks cool. Looks like a, just a regular tool. A claw hammer, as they would call it. Alright, so. There's my idea. I got stone here. Copper. And iron. Alright. Man, I need to go mining something bad. Alright. I still got my copper sword. Put this down here. Actually, I'm gonna put it right here. So I need to go mining. I need to find some more metals. But underground, it gets real dangerous. Reasoning be or reason being is that the the enemies don't have a spawn limit down there. Up here, that most enemies don't spawn until nighttime, like goblins and whatnot. But underground, they get pretty bad. All right, I'm gonna stick with stone to uh, these right here. So what do I need? Is there any difference between all these? Guess not. So I got a ring. Let's build two. Let's build a talisman. Yeah, I don't think there's any difference. It's just your preference or what you want. Yeah, let's build a talisman. Put them up here. Alright, let's see the enchanting cost for these. Alright, so talisman costs dual magic and essence. Bear claw. I don't have bear claw. Does it change? Yeah, it changes here. So damage bonus, health bonus. So bear claws for damage bonus. I want health and damage. I think I'm going to stick with those two. I know I'm hungry. I can't eat all the way. Should we take on a bear? I saw one over here. I'm very close to my home, so... Where'd you go, bear? Did it despawn? It might have despawned. Man. I need to get a little bit more copper so I can build armor, too. What was that? I'm hearing weird sounds. 
That's that's freaky, you know. I don't need crabs. I need bear. There was literally a bear just over here by this mountain, not too long ago. Man, come on, bear. Where'd you go? I need you. It's not guaranteed to get in the bear claw either. Oh, my sinuses are so bad. I thought it was bad the other day. No, it was not pretty bad now. Yeah. Right. Might go into my mine over there. Let's see if we can make it anywhere. Like, go deeper. Because I think, of course, just like any mining game, like Minecraft or whatnot. Oh, I heard you. There you go. Time you hear that hiss, I think they're spotted you or they're on you, I don't know. I just want a bear. Not the other stuff. Should have went after that bear that I was, I saw, but I wasn't ready at that moment. What? Oh, I actually let go of the mouse button and it's reset the bush. Resetting bushes. If only you could say that in real life, right? It's like this bush needs fruit again. Reset. But you get to keep what you found off of it to begin with. Though that would solve all world hunger and everything else, right? Just want a bear. <clears throat> Just a bear. There's too many gobs. Gobbies. Come here. Uh huh. See, I got a bow. What do you got? Ooh, oh, he dropped a gear. It's like, oh, I thought that was something new. Oh, I hear you, wolf. Oh, there's a bear. I think that's a bear. But it's a, oh, no, that's a turtle. Okay. I guess we're going on a little adventure here. Adventure for bear. Those are warthogs. I think the bear will be in more in the, the trees. That might be something back there. Not sure though. I wonder how often the uh, developers are updating this game. I usually stay away from the news for it because I want to be surprised about certain things like new added features and whatnot. But who doesn't, you know? Is that a bear? No, that's not a warthog. Is there any bears around here, man? Any bears? Any bears out there? Music's getting creepy there for a moment. That is a bear shape, but it's so far away. What is up with the sounds? I could do without the sounds. It's very creepy. I would like to. Uh, I would like to at least ch and check two items before the end of this episode. So give me bear. I'm kind of afraid to be this far out, because if I die, my loot will be way out here, and I'll spawn somewhere else, or I'll spawn at my house. Why is there crabs all the way over here? Well, what is that? I see a new creature. I think it's a new creature. Yeah, it's a bird. Is that a peacock? Are you an enemy? Hey, peacock, are you friendly? Friendly? That's pretty, though. 
Are you, are you nice? I guess you're nice. It's very pretty. I like it. Alright, we're going to head back towards the house. Maybe uh, because I walked away. They would spawn in a bear. Well, everywhere you look, there's an enemy just sitting there waiting to be attacked or attack you. Okay, give me my sword back. Bear! We found bear! We got bear sign. This is how you really hunt a bear with a bow. Go down, bear. Go down. Give me a claw. Give me nothing. Oh. Disappointment sets in. No claw. I got meat, though. Got lots of meat. But no bear claws. Dang it. I need at least, what, two? Maybe even four. I can't remember the number it required. Not 100%. My health is regaining slowly. As long as I don't get into combat, I am good. Alright. Where is another bear? Lions, tigers, and bears, oh my. But there's no lions or tigers, just bears. Deers. Turtles. Crabs. You know, think of the, think about having like a big cat chasing you in this game. Now that would be scary. I think that's a bear. No, those look like boars. Up on the mountain there. I don't know about these turtles though. They look menacing. A lot worse than a bear. I bet they drop care. Uh, what is it called? Crichton. Chitin, or whatever that word is, chitin. All right, let's move on back towards the house again. I'm guessing these guys might be hostile. Well, it looks like we're not going to be able to enchant in this episode, which I wanted to do. Oh, I'm out of food on eight. That can't be. Well. Bear pelt. Oh, jeez, boar. Boar sign. Are you not attacking? Oh, he's attacking. Oh, he's attacking. Not too bad. Takes a lot of hits for him, though. I need to start eating some of that meat. I don't need boars. I don't need all this. I need bears. Stay away from me, man. I'll hunt you guys later when I need to. Like, maybe for tusks? If you need them for something? Most likely that you do. Right, heading back to the home. Remember I was talking about that in a previous episode. That mountainside with all the holes in it. Oh, almost made that jump. What was that a bear? Ah, oh, we got bear. How many times can I say bear in this episode? Oh, we got two. Scary. Yep. Really? That missed? Come on, hit him. Please. Wow. This bear is really difficult to hit for some reason. I got one bear claw, maybe? I saw a claw. There is one bear claw. Yay. 
waiting for my health to come back. I, I, I hear you over there, man. Don't worry. I hear you. Stay away. I'm fighting bear and not wolves. Almost have you down now, boy. What are you gonna do? Except I can't hit you, even though he's like inside of me. Which sounds really bad. Oh wow, these bear claws are rare. Hmm. Let's head, continue heading towards the homestead. Hopefully, that bear that was at my home before. We'll come back. I can't remember. For some reason, I can't remember if that was a um, required one bear claw or two per enchantment. Yeah, it shouldn't be running so much. Takes all my, my food away. They start eating the meat. I keep saying that. But I don't. Health is full. I think the uh, the item degradation is kind of high. Step that back. Step uh, the developers step that back just a couple of more times. Cause stuff seems to break pretty fast, especially with the the material cost for those items. It either bring down the material cost or bring up the durability. Well, I hear the hissing. I don't know where that's coming from. But I see another bar. A bar. I'm not going to say bear no more. We say it too many times. Having a bow is really very useful. Allows you to get a bunch of hits off. Ah, another bear claw. Yay. I got two. Well, hopefully that's enough. Let me go over here and pick up my arrow again. Right there. Alright, I would have had enough, uh, copper if I didn't build a hundred arrows. But I wanted them to last. Oh, I hear you down there. Oh, I hear you. Really? Go ahead and eat a meat. As you see, uh, how much health I was missing, or our hunger bar. And I just ate a meat, and man, it, it almost filled me up. It was close to half. Alright, we're back home. And I hope that it was only one bear claw for the enchantment. Alright. Enchantment, here we go. Let's see the ring first. Alright, so it was two bear claw. Man. Well, that's for health bonus, so I got enough for the health bonus. So hope that's to hope that ring stays in there. <laughs> oh, this mob drops. There we go. I need these two. Because the attack bonus had those, I do believe. Alright. Alright, we got everything we need. I can go ahead and do a health bonus of 2.0%. Boom. Enchantment's done. How much did that raise it up? Okay, so. Max health, 844. Wow. 828. 844. Alright. Next, I'm going to do this talisman, which was... Two bear claw for the health. Oh man, I need rubies. It costs ten. Oh, the tusks do come in handy for critical hit chance or damage. Stamina bonus. Deer antlers. Critical hit chance. Cost goblin bones. Ooh, that critical hit chance would be nice. I might do that for the next slot. So I'll do health, 
attack, critical hit chance. Let's go ahead and do critical hit chance since I know I have goblin bones. And then next one we'll do attack damage, which I want attack damage. Alright, so bones. I got four. Actually, five. Alright, here we go. Okay, so a critical hit chance of 1.5. I'm okay with this. Damn, I need some more rubies then. Does it show critical hit chance? Anywhere? Yep, yeah, chance right there. 6.5. Chance to form a critical hit and do extra damage includes 5% base. So that's a little bit more than it was. Okay, so next one I want to build is... Let's do the ink. Yeah, that sounds good. This one right here. Bam. Let's build the ink. And then this one I'm going to do attack damage on. But we need some more rubies. And I need... I need rubies. And I already got the bear claws, so I'm good on that. Well, this guy's got... So this is why it's good to have a bow. Keep your distance. You can do as much damage to the enemy as you possibly can before having to attack them. So it gives you a better chance. Boom. Ooh, a tusk. Nice. Alright, this enchanting thing is really cool. Alright. I, I think that should put like your character's what he looks like right here. Alright, so 110. 87. 7 increased damage. Well, that has increased damage. Uh, 9. 102. 8. Oh. Has more health, though. What's about stamina increase? Same. Armor, 79. 29. 29. 5. There we go. I lose a little bit of my um, attack damage by a couple of points, but I gain increased health. I gain, gain increased armor. Don't know about the resistance. No. The resistance, resistance on that was like really high. Oh well. Well, what I'm going to do is I'm going to keep this on me then. We'll keep it up there. Alright. Wow. Well. I wanted to go mining in this episode, but we were instead hunting bears. We did make, we did finally get to use the enchanting table. We got enchants. What if you can enchant this? No, I think I already tried and it didn't allow me to. Well, next episode, what we're going to do is I want to try to hit uh, off camera. I'm going to probably mine a little bit and see if I can get at least 50 bars here. I don't want to mine too much because I want to save something for on camera. And but I might see if I can get enough to get one more bar to build a full set of armor. And I I need to hunt down some more rubies to build that attack charm, the ink. So I might do that off camera. Plus my next building is gonna probably be right here. My wife and me was I was like asking my family what should I build. And you guys too. If you want to, if you're watching this, go in the comments. Tell me what you want to what you want to see next, and I'll see if I can build it. Nothing too extravagant, because my art style is not this not great anymore. Which I used to draw and stuff when I was a kid, but now since I had a family of my own, don't do that stuff very much anymore. All right, which I need to practice again for my channel. Okay, it says all equipable items can be enchanted to make your more uh, you more powerful. Each enchantment will require rare creatures, parts, and magic essence, which can can found can essence which can found on magical creatures like imps and dry dryads. There's a little bit of a spelling, or not really spelling, more of a sentence making here. This says what it should magic essence which can be found on magical creatures like imps and dryads. Oh, you get two bear claws? Oh, guys, we get more bear claws for uh, completing this. That is awesome. So now I got four. I wonder if you can uh, 
put on like three attack charms or three, you know, critical chance charms or health charms instead of just having one. That's what a what a heck of a boost. Uh, uh, what was the attack? Let's check that real fast. What is the attack? Okay, so let's look for damage bonus. All right, so the uh, damage bonus is 2.0 percent. My damage increased by 23. Damage bonus zero. Wow, that's 2.0 from zero. That's pretty awesome. But we still need some of these rubies. We need a bunch, so I'm gonna do that off camera and get enough copper to uh, build a set of armor, which is only like one or two bars, so it's not too bad. All right, guys. Well, I'm gonna end the episode here. And if you'd like to become part of the Meerkat Nation, hit that subscribe button and join today. I would love to see those numbers grow. It makes me happy and it makes me want to continue making these awesome adventures for you guys. And it gives me the incentive to want to, you know, because if nobody's watching my content, then what's the point, right? So, you know, support, support a brother here, you know? Alright, and... If uh, you like my commentary, you find it helpful, funny, or entertaining, hit that like button. And if you didn't, still hit that like button to support my channel because it's still a learning process for me. I'm learning still. I'm practicing every day. I'm getting better and better. And next to that subscribe button, you'll see a bell icon appear. When you hit that bell icon, you'll, you'll become part of the Meerkat Nation Notification Squad, which is kind of hard to say. And when you join that, you'll be notified of everything I upload, so you never miss all these awesome adventures. Alright guys, well, y'all have a wonderful day, and I'll see you later. Bye-bye.